my name is Melina, I'm with Campaign Trackly, and I'm here today to pick up where I left off last time. I promise to talk to you about how Campaign Trackly, Google, and Bitly work together to save you time. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to connect to Google Analytics and view reports with a click. Secondly, I'll show you how to connect to Bitly and view Bitly reports. And lastly, I'll show you how Bitly and Campaign Trackly save you time and make your life easy by shortening your links while you're tagging. No extra typing, copying, or pasting. Yay! I'll start with Google Analytics. Let's go to Settings and click on the Google Setup tab. When we hit the green Connect Account button, Google will ask you if you want to allow Campaign Trackly to connect with your Analytics API. We won't have access to your personal details or passwords and you own this connection. So when you hit OK and allow the connection to happen, Google will connect us to the properties that you have access to in Google Analytics. We won't have full access, just the option to read your reports in the acquisition campaign section. And now Campaign Trackly can automatically parse your custom tag campaigns reports for those properties. And here's where you can see these reports. Now you can see that here in this tester account, we have 52 visits coming from Quora. The reports dashboard shows you visits by campaign, by source, and by medium. And you'll have about um, two months worth of stats um, on the dashboard. Here, for example, the report covers the time period between now and back to December the 19th. If you have goals associated with these campaigns, you'll also see a goals graph. If we scroll further down below, you can see a campaigns table. That's a duplicate of what you have on the campaigns page, but it's meant for easier access. Let's locate the campaign generating the 52 clicks by hitting the clicks ordering option. And here's the campaign. Now let's click on the reports icon to see more details. I will select a custom reporting period and we'll click on each available option to show you what data we are getting. Let's start with defining a custom period that goes back to the 19th of December. Using the calendar, it is very easy to select different timelines. So, once we are able to get the right period, let's see what our options are. We can see the campaign source, medium, content, performance and clicks, and you can review detailed info by tag. You can also see the link itself at the very bottom. With multiple links, you'll have multiple data to compare. If you wanted to, you can email the report yourself or save it as a PDF. This is just a very simple example. Of course, you can get much more detailed and complicated outputs depending on how many links your campaign has. So here are a few examples from other accounts showing you campaigns with multiple links where you can get a lot of information about different content, medium, source, and compare performance at a glance. Now, let's head over to settings and select the Bitly tab to connect Campaign Trackly with your Bitly account. Once you press the Add Bitly Account green button, if you are already logged into Bitly, you'll be taken to the consent page and asked to allow the connection. If you're not logged in currently, you'll need to add an extra step to log in prior to connecting the two apps. Connecting to Bitly provides two benefits. First, instant access to your Bitly report snapshot, where you can see all the clicks you're getting as a result of your campaigns for a certain period of time. Let's head over to our Bitly reports. In this test account, you can see that the report snapshot will give you not only the total clicks for the period, but also the top traffic referrer, which is Facebook, top country, and top performing link. We can copy the link and paste it in a browser to identify our top performing asset in a second. The greatest thing is that your Bitly reports are not limited to links residing on your own websites. You can get stats even for third-party articles and links that you don't own but have promoted for educational or peer reasons. Bitly will show you if those articles generated interest even though they reside on someone else's website. That's great. In addition to the snapshot report, you can also view individual link performance by choosing link from the report mode option and, and pasting your bit.ly link. You can also change reporting periods using the calendar to the right. The second benefit you're getting when connecting to bit.ly is instant link shortening. No extra copying, typing, no need for exports, juggling between platforms, no extra effort. Let me grab a link to demonstrate that. 
I'll instantly grab a knowledge base article using our link grabber extension. I'll change the name of the campaign since this will be how Google will identify my campaign and its reports and campaign track list to generic. Then I'll choose knowledge base article as my content type and we'll select Twitter daily schedule as my charm. Once I'm ready to preview, I'll hit save and you'll be able to see how Bitly instantly generates my short link. No extra typing or pasting. Now I can directly go and share the link on Twitter by clicking the convenient Twitter button. Because I'm logged into Twitter, all I need to do is just add a bit of meat to the tweet and send it over. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm typing my tweet and sending one link, but in reality, you know that we usually deal with a lot more links at a time. And that's why this is a great option because you're saving a lot of time. By clicking on my profile view, I can check that the tweet was momentarily posted on my Twitter timeline. Here it is. And now let's go back to campaign trackly because I want to show you where the campaign was saved. You know, another great thing is, is all your campaigns will be saved in campaign trackly. So you can go back to them again and again. I'll go to campaigns and as you can see, my campaign was saved and listed together with all the rest of the campaigns. Tomorrow I can circle back to my reports to see if anyone has clicked on it. And this concludes our video. I showed you how to connect with Google Analytics and Bitly and view the reports. I also showed you how Bitly lets Campaign Trackly shorten all your links for you and save you time. In our next video, I'll show you how you save real time with our bulk features. Thank you for watching and see you later.